Like, what are you fucking sociopath? You walk around killing other NPCs. Yeah, he doesn't murder them, he annihilates them. Fucking okay, racist. What have you got yeah. against NPCs? Well, he's or because they're AI, of course he wants to kill them. He's supposed to strike up a relationship with them, so yeah. they don't have kids. Yeah, you get bored as yeah. well. I shook the country, made the arenas vibrate, tore my opponents to shreds. Welcome to a very special episode 56 of the Unmonetizables, the official podcast of the Fog Chronicles, the dumbest search for intelligence in the galaxy, and steps us a podcast to the Indie Scots Network's Scots with Soul podcast. My name is Captain Privilege, and with me through no choice of their own are Dr. Darkside. I'm flying. And Grandmaster Tech. A bit dark with your intro there, you know. I thought you were usually hovering dark side. And what do you mean dark with my intro? What, that is poetry. It's, <laughs> do, don't you recognise poetry? No, when it comes out your mouth. Fucking don't say it comes out my mouth. If you're <laughs> unaware, folks, this is the only show in the galaxy that expertly dissects your primitive planet's curatable culture, a.k.a. the trending tat of the week. rat a tat 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 It's fucking rat a tat rattling the fucking... Rattling the razors. Huh? There's Gillette reports a loss of eight billion. Didn't they have quite a controversial <laughs> advert or something? What? You've had quite a few Co- controversial what adverts. What was controversial about implying that men even walking towards women was somewhat yeah. of sexual, sexual man hating? You know, <laughs> Gillette, the best a man can get, or Gillette, the best a man can be, was was the change. Is that the change that the best a man? Can yeah. Which is probably just as well because obviously it's not the best anyone can get if they've lost eight fucking million. It's the best a person can be, is it not? No, yeah, it should be. It's toxic masculinity. It's a problem here. Yeah, Don't divert away. Okay. <laughs> it's to- toxic fucking entrepreneurs that are the, the problem. <laughs> the best a man, woman, or any other person of any other gender background whatsoever Quite can as be I amorphic. <laughs> no, no. Yeah. You, this is you. This is just your fucking. Subtle male way of just trying to obscure the whole pink tax situation. Oh, and... you so through. He's male? Yeah. Well. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for that. Gender questionable. That's what I saw in his application <laughs> form. Well, what do you think then? Have we got to, 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 do you think we'll ever recover? Yeah, they will. How like, G- long have Gillette been around? Exactly. Like two centuries or something. It's pretty weird that you think somebody could lose eight billion and still be around, though. Yeah. How much are Facebook getting fined? Five. The, the guys, they're earning oh, three hundred. Yeah, right? they're earning three hundred fifty-three billion a year, yeah. or at least that's what they've got. Really, so how's there that much money, money in the world? Eh? Lack because money. Facebook <laughs> owns it all. <laughs> you know I mean? Not until they start fucking fake coin or whatever the fuck it was called. Face. Co- that's what Gillette should yeah. do. Gillette uh, should have a Luke Gillette coin. coin. Oh no, uh, uh, you, should, coin. you should hear what they're Razor doing. Coin. You should hear what they're doing now. Actually, it's fucking what? ridiculous. Uh, you know WhatsApp and Instagram. Hmm. Facebook is changing the WhatsApp and Instagram name to say WhatsApp by Facebook, Instagram by Facebook. Why not just change it all to Facebook? Exactly. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, but we're trying to integrate it and make it more obvious that these programs are from Facebook. No, That's... no, no. What you're trying to say is they were bought by Facebook. That's smart right. marketing. <laughs> it's smart marketing. It's all about the mergers. All right. The mergers. Speaking yeah. of mergers. They can go merge with their own boot. <laughs> Speaking of mergers, we'll come boot. back to Facebook. Jana. It's official. Jana. Jake Paul and Tana, keep up you two for yeah. fuck's sake. Nobody Jana. cares. Nobody cares about this. Uh, apart from Jake you. Paul's branded this, it as Jana. This whole company. Why do no one cares. Nobody cares. They, they got quarter of a million in a pay per view live stream of the wedding. <laughs> quarter of a million. No one cares. Of course they live streamed their 50 wedding. Yeah, bucks yeah, a, Fifty bucks a stream. Are they going to no live stream the divorce as well? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's going to be paid for as well. Uh, no, the thing is, this this whole combining name thing was like gone in the nineties. Like, what the fuck are that about? Like, Jan, it's Jana. Jake Paul. I know, but it. it's like it's like it did so nineties, man. Uh, that's pretty you know what I mean? It's fucking it's it's rank, man. Like it's ja- Oh, I love you so much, I ain't gonna combine her names and I get married. It's fucking Yeah, like really, man. It's beautiful. You know it's beautiful. How folk, dare you? Folk that tend to be in love for a certain length of time drop that shit yeah. and then just carry on with their lives. But no, you guys are still in that. We're gonna combine our names. So yeah, I agree with Darkseid on this one. I give it a two weeks. What are they going to call their wins? Like Lincoln Bio? Or, <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> smash that like button. Buy that merch. <laughs> Insta. Insta. Uh, I don't know. Uh, Insta and the other one's Grams. <laughs> Low gang. One called Tweets. Low gang junior. <laughs> Honestly, uh, like it's funny because it's just like a novel. One thing, called AdSense. But it's, it's tabloid as get out. Nobody cares about it. <laughs> it was tabloid indeed. Did you hear about the fight that broke out? No. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't. <laughs> well, I, I mean, it's a shame because fucking, uh, they even had such illustrious guests as like, you know, uh, Adam for the No Jumper podcast. I think and, I'm going to go and read Hello magazine and uh, yeah. decompress from this o- kind of Oprah crap. Oprah Winfrey was there the one as well. Got an exclamation you know? mark. Oh, fair, they just totally missed Doesn't that. Doesn't even have a name. I'll just keep talking, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, we're just going to keep talking over you. Because uh, Oprah Winfrey was obviously there. She was there. Of course Oprah was there. She wouldn't even miss this. Yeah, you know I mean, they definitely didn't hire a lookalike of Oprah Winfrey to walk around the wedding at all. Oh uh, my God, it's Oprah! And then some guy just as they're like kissing the bride, uh, or just as they're kissing the bride, just as Jake's kissing the bride, uh, some guy like in a red t-shirt just chucks his champagne over and goes "fuck Tana," and then Jake awkwardly shoves him aside, like "fuck you doing, bro." And then the entire party just erupts on this one guy. Really? No, that, yeah. that wasn't uh, pre-scripted or anything? Eh? No, what, what, uh, yeah. what Tara <laughs> said was, listen, it was just entertainment for content. It's a soap opera. It's she, it's yeah, it's just entertainment work. for content. It doesn't it's matter so, how a, you write it. It's a soap opera for people with five brains. Well, what does it matter if it's a soap opera? It's a, it's a live stream soap opera. It's all about these days taking this content and putting it on a different platform. And speaking of content, appeared on different platforms. <laughs> Ninja. Fuck off! <laughs> I knew you were going to bring him up. More people... The that... fuck cares? Ninja. Uh, people don't care. What do you mean really? it doesn't... No one cares. The, the only people that care about all Twitch. these people you're on about are like five, six, seven years old. No, no, and then most me. people grow out of that after this that. is a move that has shooketh the fucking streaming world okay is it a big business everywhere big business everywhere is all the chatter chatter is all about ninja's big fucking move to mixer he's not even the best player in the world he, no, he's he, the best, does, he just won 3 yeah. million with 16 he, yeah he's the best fortnite player so, in the world not yes, the best no, gamer all around the world fucking oh, called Bungos yeah, fucking what beat him or something or, or like won the, the world championship yeah. Tifu was already to beat him in the ratings anyway you pair need to keep the fuck up he was an Number two Twitch streamer. That's probably why he jumped straight. No, jump we, we were already ahead of the game. We kept up and we decided to get the fuck out before we lost our brain cells. Kept up. <laughs> when did you ever have a goddamn epic account? Don't lie to me. So well, before you even woke up. Oh, yeah, <laughs> so yeah, why is this important? Tell us why this is important. What do you mean why it's important? Because because people like Grosscore are calling him out. It's for, a fucking sit for being a sellout. The, the, hold on all these people sell <laughs> out that's how they make it that's no, how you know no. their names do, do because not, they're sold out do you not have enough money when is enough enough bruv it's not like the old days where you could actually do something meaningful and not have to sell out like these people sell out from the start I, I think I think it was just being reasonable like what Twitch just not help me anymore or give me any more options or give me money like it's just like a wrestler got in a promotion, man. You just would like, cool. I've not got the belt, and you're going to keep me in the top Why do you spot. Think PewDiePie cool. went on D Live because he got paid a shit ton yeah. of fucking money. That's why. Exactly. Like, like if no, some because he believes in the cause. Yeah, oh, like, come on. If somebody offered, if somebody just says, "Hey, we're going to give you guys, you know, like ten million, means you can upgrade your ship and shit like that," you know, would we do it? You know what I mean? It's, it's, really it's questionable. No, we have more on, yeah. on that note. Uh, <laughs> www.thefuckchronicles at paypal.com. Just so you know. Uh, we have a PayPal now. <laughs> nice. Oh, how do we, I know? We, we, we used to it before it got hacked. It's yeah. been hacked now. What oh, it's been hacked now. Yeah, totally. Hi. Who's hacking it? As long as you drop 10 million. Somebody's there, currently hacking. hacking it as we speak. Yeah, drop 10 right. million. Well, I mean, listen. Well, we there's, a, there's some moldy bananas at the back of that account. You don't have to worry about us selling out. Okay, but yeah, because we have to sell in before we can sell out. If you can have <laughs> out selling, this fucking PS4 has outsold everybody and totally declared win over this generation as a hundred million units sold. That doesn't matter. The PS5 coming out soon. So. On track to become the greatest selling console of all time. Mm. Well, you know, it's cheaper than a PS5. 
Should be on a PS5 or something. Something was floating around that the eight hundred mark. Eight hundred odd dollars. Oh, shit, it'll not be eight hundred. <laughs> yeah, that's that's for uh, basically they were like, um, if you buy it now, are they actually making money though, Sony? Are they actually making money? Yeah. Kind of course question they are. They're, is they're, that? they're developing weapons, aren't they? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, come you on. called me a weapon. <laughs> <laughs> to shoot bits. <laughs> but, you know what I mean? The, technically, games consoles can be construed as social weapons. Like, will people oh, buy a PS5? <laughs> yeah. Of course they will. You it doesn't matter how much it is. Folk will buy it. They'll be like, oh my God, look at that price. Take my money. Wait, they were talking <laughs> yeah. about mobile games would have extincted every console after the PS3. Right. And this one's just sold 100 mil. Right. But what... We're at a point where Samsung is reporting record losses, and they are. That's because, why is that? It's because nobody wants a mobile phone. <laughs> it's a phone. Because it's a folding phone, phone. Everybody's got a phone that works. Yeah. So it, why should they go buy a new phone? Not right? only that, yeah. The phone, so what's going to uh, make people go and buy a PS Five? Uh, Exclusives. Mm. Spider Man. You know I mean, yeah. I that's God a, that's of the difference in a console uh, and a phone. Full, full VR. Yeah. Right, become full, human. Absolutely full VR support. Knack. Um, bundle deals. Knack uh, too. Yeah. Uh, streamers moving to different platforms. But at what point, <laughs> right, but at what point when it's totally photorealistic and you can put on a VR helmet and be in a, in a virtual environment and it looks exactly the same, feels, touch, smells the same, uh, you know, when you get to PS7, PS8, you're not going to want another... It's going to be like Windows 10. They're not going to make another one. No, no, pretty much. They're just going to continue <laughs> to... Uh, they'll, they'll, start, like, they'll make like an evolved one that is more yeah. just a, a Perme console that yeah, can handle yeah, the upgrades. It's modular. Basically, it's just a box that has little slots that you can pull out your memory stick and put yeah, a new so one in. Yeah, I'll have some like that. It's not a controller and modular shit. Modular box. Just be a Thunderbolt cable that you plug in the back of your head. Oh, yeah. Well up for that. Yeah, don't say plug. Yeah, they can, they can upgrade the port in the back of my head. It's kind of old. Oh, it's still oh. running on BNC, you know what I mean? <laughs> you might want to give that a wipe first. I've, I've not used it in years. <laughs> 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 it's got to give you nightmares now, isn't it? Yeah, well, anyway, I, I don't know what you're fucking poo-pooing consoles for, Darkseid. You, you're just trying to hide the fact that he's recently been baptised. This is where you went and found a piece of really <laughs> news <laughs> that you could uh, segue what? into. What? No, how dare you accuse me of tenuously fucking linking things together? There's nothing tenuous about that. Huh? So, so what, 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 what can we expect? Hmm? Hmm? You're going to be joining me for some of my streams in the near future. Is that Don't it? say joining some of your streams. We're crossing streams, are we? <laughs> <laughs> Don't cross the streams. What are you doing? <laughs> I don't know. It'll end up looking like so many space balls. Don't know what you're going to do. You're already fucking gambled all your fucking online money on the casino mode of GTA. Don't lie. Have to buy the new version of GTA before he can gamble all his money on it. Mm, yeah, he fucking has. <laughs> yeah, I might, I might try streaming some GTA. I don't know if I can convince you to get GTA. I will get GTA now if you've got it. I fucking right. I'll rob some banks or some shit. That'll be a lol. Lock out fest. Just go and work on getting that big massive ship that you can float around the map that you can take your entire crew on. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> that costs like 200 billion. Can you do that? Eh? Yeah, you can, you can get a, basically like the PS3 didn't have it because, oh, it's not got enough memory to handle that bullshit. Aye. Um, but yeah, the PS4, one of the upgrades was you can actually purchase a ship. It does, I don't know if it actually like travels around the map or if it just kind of teleports. No idea. But basically, it's got a landing pad, it's got automated defences, it's got a garage It's a for fucking cars. helicarrier, basically. It's basically, a, it's basically a floating cruise ship for your crew. That's fucking you know, awesome. And any of your crew can jump on, jump aboard it. Right, so that's that's the first priority. So there you go, you need, you need, you need, to, you need, to, have the, uh, you need to have the USS Entitlement <laughs> yeah, parked next to San Andreas. <laughs> well, I think I can safely say... It's time to move on to our favourite segment of the show where I fold my phone over just that wee bit. Oh, my communicate device. That was... Kick my feet up. Hit me with it. Right, lads. Hit me with it. What have we got? Uh, have we got he the... said hit him with it. What, what... Come on. <laughs> what, we put the, 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 the Twitter moments of the week, dark side while you fish around or would, would you prefer to display your recon first? I couldn't quite hear you. But 
<clears throat> Maybe that's because I haven't got a quantum microphone. <laughs> that was, the... <laughs> that was so an amazing proud. segue there. I'm well so done. proud. <laughs> this crew has come so far. Quantum Don't microphone. Say come so far. <laughs> Qu- quantum microphone detects sound at the atomic level. <laughs> yes, that's exactly yeah. what I wanted. An yeah. atomic microphone. Re- researchers at Stanford have developed a quantum microphone which can detect the smallest known units of sound, packets of vibrational energy Great. called phonons. That's awesome. Da. So now we really can hear a gnat fart from 100 yards. I can't wait to the next season of Ghost Adventures, man. <laughs> <laughs> What's that, that but... sound? <laughs> it's an atom. <laughs> did, did, Are the atoms speaking to me <laughs> from the grave? Did ASMR. <laughs> Has just oh, went to a new oh, no. No, right. uh, ASMR for across the fucking the room. Oh, across the, the continent, think the, think the, the street. Right, particles that me? particles that are that small can travel through objects of certain God. densities. So can you imagine? You can no, you no longer need your ears. It's just inside your fucking head. Uh, you imagine all those little tunes that get stuck in your head. No, no, no. Mm-hmm. It's not your brain remembering them. It's some fuckers actually shooting you with a phone on gun. Like, hey, you're gonna remember. Final countdown for like the next five hours, man. Wow, that's weird. <laughs> so the, the actual use of this is that um, it will help in the development of a new type of quantum compu- computer where you'll be able to um, encode information using sound energy. I fucking knew that was coming. Uh, what? This, yeah, is, we're, we're, th- this is ancient aliens, that's man. That's some fucking Star this Trek like, shit. Yeah, what but, the fuck? No, this no, is, but, this is exactly. like the sound in the crystals. Oh, it's exactly. Like, uh, this is... Uh, uh, we're saying, why? <laughs> that was so like Superman's fucking forget. crystal. Dude. Superman's crystal. Telling that sounds you. so dodgy. Like, I don't know why. Uh, the, 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 he's fucking yes. AI. Exactly. And here we place Superman's crystal inside the pedestal. The holocron or some <laughs> shit. Yeah, I, yeah it was in the tip of my tongue. <laughs> don't, don't, don't. <laughs> no, no, don't <laughs> tell me what's in your mouth, Sam. Superman's <laughs> crystal was on the tip of your tongue, eh? <laughs> sounds like a right junkie night out. <laughs> and the Superman crystal's mean. <laughs> was fucking flying. That's why he was flying. Ah, that's that's, that's, that's why he said he was flying. Um, that's why he bought a PS4. <laughs> some day, some day else I had a bad night. Uh, Russia Instagram influencer Ekaterina Garg. I'm gonna no, I'm not even gonna try and pronounce her name. Found dead in suitcase. A prominent Russian Jeez. Instagram influencer was found dead from knife wounds on Friday in a suitcase in a rented Moscow apartment. Police said uh, she was 24. That's a fucking sin, man. I, I hate to say it, but this is why you don't. If you're an influencer or you're that kind of level of person. Yeah, police say they are investigating Don't jealousy date, date as a possible motive. Tinder. Yeah. God, you know that's I mean? a fucking sin, isn't it? Twenty four. Yeah, look after yourself, there, folks. That's kind of creepy. But what, what did people do before they could? Uh, you know, they had brains. No, before you could yeah. tell the world about what you had for breakfast and show them a picture of it, what did people do? They read who, the who did they tell? Their best they pal. Just told they told themselves. They had diaries. Someday, someday you had to actually hold it in your head. It. You had yeah. to hold on. You had to hold that information in your head. Wait until you bumped into somebody who that you could tell that to, and then tell them, and then they'd be like, "Meh." God, here yeah. he goes. He's just <laughs> he's just trying to segue into some anti technology bullshit rant. What could I do with it? Our phones? No, blah, 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 blah. I'm just saying that's not a good advert for Instagram. This, this is just that's another weird excuse for you nah. not have a mobile phone on your personage at all times. The thing is, there's there's been a lot of occasions where, you know, the reason why I mentioned something like Tinder has been a lot of occasions where people like influencers have and stuff people like on Tinder. Either, like... either there's been a case of stalking or people have went out you know and, what you're doing people have went out in <laughs> dates <laughs> with somebody that they've met on the internet through that but really that person's just like creepy as fuck turns out they were right well, but there's a lot of, a lot of people are actually turning around and starting to say yeah I went on a date with this person they were dodgy as fuck why didn't I see that in the first place that's because you're online mm. you can't see that when you're online if you're talking to them if you're vocally speaking to them there's a chance that you might be able to pick up on shit like that but when all you're seeing is text it's like oh I love you so much you're reading it in your head is like oh that's really cute but they're actually like I love you so much I uh, realize you know I mean? a Russian spy <laughs> yeah <laughs> they found uh, on the, the, the plus side of that type of tech though uh, they managed <clears throat> to find a guy who'd went parasailing and he died and they were able to find his fucking body through pinpointing it through his phone yeah, something they yeah. wouldn't have been able to do had you not had that fucking device on. There are always benefits and drawbacks, just like getting he a medical implant. Phone instead, you know what I mean? um, on uh, the subject of 
bad technology though. Um, Here it comes. Swiss drones grounded after crash near playing children. Oh yeah, totally. Drones carrying lab samples between <laughs> hospitals in Switzerland have been yeah. grounded. Lab samples? After Did a crash 50 yards yeah. from where preschool children were playing. Where was it's this? Shocking, shocking, eh? Switzerland somewhere. Yeah. Like oh my god, there's going to be like a Switzerland spider drone man or something. Uh, oh. Imagine you were a kid and you seen like all these lab samples spraying out the air. You just play, I want to be Spider-Man, I want to be Spider-Man and just licking it as it's fucking and it's, dripping and down. And all some of these... Uh, still samples. Oh, at least really, it wasn't you know what I mean? beating yeah. heart. <laughs> 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 if it was, if it was still beating, I'd be concerned of where the fuck they got it from. You know. Yeah. What I mean? <laughs> Apparently, they've had three thousand successful flights before they almost killed some kids. Before Where's David Jones? Before they almost kill some kids. Are you sure this is not a government cover up to actually test biological weapons on children? That's it, this is Darwin Award. What are you little brats doing playing underneath the drones? You said they were aiming for the children and they missed. No, no, no. The official story will report that they were not aiming for the children. This was a, this was, this was a Stranger Things lab test. Exactly, attempt. exactly. exactly. So Guaranteed. What you don't know is you three know. or four of those kids were infected by said samples and will now yep. be Swedish superheroes. Yep. No, you know what they're actually doing, right? They're, they've actually found a vaporised vaccination delivery mm. system. So all those kids that will not get va- vaccinated because their parents will not vaccinate them oh, they're are now getting jewels, right? Yeah. Now they're now they're getting vaccinated through the aerosols by accidentally dropping lab samples. Sorry, on Sorry, I thought you meant vaping, right? Sorry. Well, that's also a possibility. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just, it's just it's just those little just those few kids that got hit by the sample. So it'll be like Swedish Chronicle. Like, good on you, cool. The fuck was that? Good Swedish Chronicle. I was. Trying to figure out what the <laughs> hell that was. The film Chronicle, <laughs> the classic Chronicle, where he's flying about. That's and other flying news. Uh, Fra- <laughs> Frankie, Z- <laughs> just fuck it. Frank- uh, Frankie Zapata, uh, yeah. flyboarding Frenchman, crosses English Channel. Oh, he finally got permission to do it, did he? Yeah, it was his second attempt, apparently. He flyboarded. Uh, Hold on. What yeah, the fuck is a flyboard? flyboard. It's like it's like it's imagine like a, a jetpack, jet but the jets are out the underneath of this board. It's like it's like Back it's to like the Future. Yeah. Why yeah. don't jet I power. have one? Is the next you can't because be they're probably really one. dangerous. <laughs> uh, the invention powered by a kerosene-filled backpack. Yeah, yeah, that's why you don't have one. Did, uh, made the twenty-two mile journey in twenty-two minutes. Yeah. Uh-huh. And did they happen to be crossing out any fucking drones across Sweden while he was making his <laughs> job? They were banned. They were he banned. was Oopsie. one of the drones across Sweden. They, they were busy them. taking out small yeah. groups of children. You know what that means now, though? <laughs> Drug cartels could quite easily ship heroin across the border, hey, you know? Just a fucking airport <laughs> guy straight out of fucking water. <laughs> just airdrop hey. that shit into, the, into Surrey or something like fucking that. Fucking you know? what? They're just going to literally fly a plane as close to Ken, drop a guy out in one of their boards, yeah. and when he gets so far down, you know, just like fucking the, Xander the, Cage. Right onto the oh, fuck fucking yeah. they, they, they funded them, you know. It's, it's like you know, flying across the English Channel and that, and you've got an RAF jet flying across, going, "Yeah, we've got a target out here, but we can't see it until they see this tiny guy waving at them, going, bye motherfuckers." I don't know that I'm that desperate that I want a backpack filled with airplane fuel in my back. That's just, nah. it sounds like a really good way to go, man. You know, okay, Rocket Man. Exactly. I love that film. Rocket Man, I got a fireball up my ass. <laughs> I said that film, not the fucking goddamn Elton John thing. We, Why we, not? We've just been flagged. <laughs> <you're somewhere. laughs> <laughs> if they flag me for that bad rendition, then they deserve copy straight to <laughs> Sharon. <laughs> Sharon's is real. Yeah. Apparently, YouTube said my singing is awesome because it picked me up as Elton John. Way. <laughs> you know what I mean? So neither of you watched The Great Hack, which is brilliant, and you should go and watch it on Netflix. Yeah, um, we, were, we were busy doing things. Stranger no. Things. No, but... <laughs> hey, excuse me. <laughs> this certainly wasn't. Um, that kind of outlines the whole Cambridge Analytica scandal. And really, you kind of realise, mm. like, halfway through watching it, that it's not the Cambridge Analytica scandal. It's the Facebook scandal. Yeah, exactly. Oh, like, you just renamed it as something else to because, take the, the distract away. Like, Cambridge yeah. Analytica was just using the data that Facebook gave them. Mm. Yeah. And Facebook... <laughs> I like fa- that copy. We were just using the data they illegally fucking assembled over the years. Yeah, but it, it's true, though. It's not like, even illegally. It was probably yeah. illegally. It's, 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 like, it's, like, it's, consent. it's like, how do people get your number to call you for scam calls? 
they get them from other companies selling them the data. So yeah. it's, they're not they're yeah. not doing anything illegal. So it comes up several times in the documentary that it's it's face the point yeah. the finger should be squarely pointed at exactly. Facebook. And, but yeah. it's brilliant how it's been um, whitewashed by the media that it's that it's termed the face the Cambridge Analytica scandal. Yeah, exactly. Um, but but that's all right. Now we've got Instagram and WhatsApp to join the. Well, if you were a fucking a real journalism, would you dare sit and fucking prosecute Zuckerberg knowing that all oh, your dodgy messages in the DMs and all your fucking hopes and fears and psychological profiles have been ripped to all the fucking goddamn am I smarter than a 12 year old or what plant pot am I fucking quizzes that you've taken through BuzzFeed that's, and Vox over the fucking years. That's called being a real journalist though. Or yeah. journalism. <laughs> well, exactly. so there's clips yeah. of the congressional uh, hearings where uh, Zuckerberg was speaking in the documentary, and he's he was speaking. And uh, you sure it just wasn't synthetic. <laughs> yeah. He was. <laughs> yeah, this is words and beats. Echoing. Yeah. Um, and the from his oral chamber. <laughs> The, the ex-employees at Cambridge Analytica, there's an ex-employee Cambridge Analytica who's like whistleblowing and she's just watching it <laughs> laughing at him because he's, well, well, he's, it's, it's pretty la- he's lying his yeah, face right off. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Whistleblowing in the Zorro chamber. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to get that one out. That's, of that's the episode title. <laughs> whistleblowing in the Zorro chamber. Don't nice. whistleblow in my oral chamber. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, totally. You know what I mean? That, that's it. You're, I mean, you're totally right there. It's like when, a, you know, they're quite quick to judge a singular person, but when it's a company that big, they're like, oh no, no, it wasn't them. Well, it was, but we're going to get the same as these guys over here. Right. So, I, I um, cannot believe the Perrys would ever accuse from this conspiracy theory documentary that the fucking mainstream media would be anything other than 100% honest and accurate in its reports and findings. It should be. Use pair are a couple of fucking fake news fucking fakers. <laughs> fake news fakers. Faker taker newsers. <laughs> hey, if we were getting paid to create that fake news, yeah. we'd have a lot of fake news that we could that, give people. Is that a MAGA <laughs> hat I can see on you right now? Well, the, the book no, that I'm listening Naga to, the, moment, hat. the audiobook Naga. I'm listening to must be fake news as well. Naked uh, America. <laughs> surveillance, surveillance Valley, the rise of the military digital complex. Honestly, Naked and going AWOL. Um, <laughs> but it, honestly, it goes on, and this is this is creepy, right? That it goes on about in the sixties, the uh, students had gotten their hands on confidential documents relating to Project Cambridge, a project to build a massive computer network using uh, which intelligence officials could upload vast dossiers of data, financial records, criminal histories, and social service data. This was for analysis and generating predictive models, mapping out social relationships, and running simulations to predict human behaviour. And that was in the 60s. And then we have the Cambridge Analytica scandal. It just sounds like very fucking similar thing. And it's yeah. got the same fucking yeah. name. Project what Cambridge is... No, just because that's the same word. <laughs> uh, don't be sick. You, sir, I can't mm. hear anything other than the rustling of your tinfoil hat <laughs> over there. You can't afford tinfoil. Right, right. <laughs> On the subject of tinfoil hats. Uh, life log. LifeLog was the project of the Information Processing Techniques Office and Defence Advanced Research Projects a- Agency. Why does this sound like Life Invader from Grand The Theft object Doll? of LifeLog, this is uh, pre-2004, right? Yeah. The objective of LifeLog concept was to be able to trace the threads of an individual's life in terms of events, states and relationships, uh, take care of the subject's experience from phone numbers dialed and email messages viewed and every breath taken, step made and place gone. Basically, uh, the... Yes, government was trying to track everybody and they thought they'd come up with this uh, computer-based application called LifeLog. Yeah, that you track yourself. It was cancelled in 2004 uh, because of criticism from several libertarians concerned about the privacy implications of the system. They're just renaming Facebook! Those goddamn laptops (laughs) holding back Not even a year later, uh, Facebook was founded in February 2004 (laughs) in in Cambridge, Massachusets. Exactly. See, (laughs) See, that's that's the big difference. (laughs) They'll have to join the dogs. That's that's a legal loophole there. We collect information about you and store it. That's illegal. You give us your information and we store it. Perfectly legal. <laughs> Fire on. Yep. Perfectly legal. <laughs> it's all done with consent. See? Exactly. 
all this fucking all this bead rattling for nothing all this fucking saber rattling yep. for nothing not, on, not only that not only that uh the amount of things that say the amount of things that facebook google uh, ios they're all entangled with all these different programs that you don't even know like i was saying earlier about facebook rebranding instagram and whatsapp mm -hmm. how many other programs out there are owned by those companies what's the what's the food one that everyone uses with just eat or some shit yeah like that. and like the american equivalent of that and shit like they know what yeah. you, they know what the your poop, they know what your yeah. poop's coming out exactly like you know what i mean like yeah, look, they, look they, at, know, uh, they know what you've had for breakfast look at, look they know at what uber. You've had your skin is yeah. from the but grease intake look, look at uber that's a perfect way to be able to track every single person's movement that ever uses an uber what the fuck you had your fucking phone your mobile phone your mobile phone your mobile phone your yeah, tracking no, device the, the, the thing is though the thing is though that requires a satellite well, I suppose the Uber will actually will give you the door just, number. No, it just needs a telephone number. Mm. Can track you. You know what I mean? But if so, you sorry to break it. If you, <laughs> it still requires a satellite at some point to transmit the data over long distances. But on the, but, on, the on the subject of creepy technology, uh, AI system should be recognised as inventor. Yeah. An artificial intelligence system should be recognised as the inventor of two ideas and patents filed on its behalf, a team of at, uh, academics well, says. To be honest, it's kind of questionable that some of the inventors on this planet actually invented the thing that they say they invented. Yeah, well, at least you know now, so, definitely, because it'll have the, it'll have the, the, the invention date logs. Yeah, it'll, ha oh, it'll oh, have oh. the AI with that cheesy grin and the thumbs up going, I invented this. Don't, don't people invent things, though? What, what are people? Can, can, hold on, people? can a machine, can a machine invent things? Like, what? That's such a loose phraseology, people, you know? Anyway, do you it, want to know what it's invented? Uh, uh, digital toilet paper? Uh, it's designed interlocking food containers that are easy for robots to grasp. Now, why does a robot need to grasp a fucking food container? It's not like it's going to eat. Uh, what, are, they, I, are they preparing for robots starting to eat here? No, it mm, knows yeah. its role. It needs to open up said food for to pour into my mouth. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> to pour it in my oral receptacle. Exactly. And it needs. if that ever dropped it, it knows that the human would be inflamed and incensed. All right, no. You know, so. and, and it's also... So you dropped that sausage casserole over me. What the fuck? A, a warning light that flashes in a rhythm that is hard to ignore. Uh, exactly. So can you imagine this little robot going invention? down with a little tub of food with this flashing light above it, and you're like, <gasps> food. Well, that's that's, pe that's brilliant. Yeah. How many times have you lost a flame, man? Seen like a, a a flashing light, and it's just like, oh, that's mildly annoying, and you ignore it for like a minute or two, and then you're like, what is that? <laughs> Whereas that is one that you can't <laughs> ignore. Yeah. Like a deer in the headlights as it's charging towards you at ninety mile an hour with its food container. Wide open. <laughs> With the brrr, just open. come straight for you. It's kind of hard to ignore Prepare that. Prepare for receptacle. Kind of hard to ignore, like some weird deer driving a car with a food container open. Like what? So the the, the <laughs> deer. <laughs> why, why is that a deer? A deer in the headlights driving at you. Oh, you're you like a deer in the headlights <laughs> while it's driving at you. Everything comes back to animals with you. You fucking closet furry. God damn it! Well, animals are the only true human beings on this planet. <laughs> All right, Kibo Sabi. <laughs> Chill the fuck out. <laughs> Quit banging that fucking drum over there. Right? So, at the Summoning the fucking it's, it's woodland not made spirits. Pig, it's not made out of pig skin anyway. That's <laughs> at the moment, an AI cannot copyright uh, a book in the US. Yeah, this is an episode of Star um, Trek. You have, to be a, you have to be a, a human. Yeah. Um, but a spokesperson for the European Patent Office indicated that it would be a complex matter. This is a global consensus that... Uh, there's a global consensus that an inventor can only be a person who makes a contribution to the invention's conception in the form of a device. Fucking race. So basically, you need to be you need, for for the foreseeable future. The AI is a tool used by a human inventor. That is I actually is called the AI a tool. Yeah, I don't think. In future, you that'll be hate speech. You got locked up for yeah, that. So exactly. yeah, only people can invent things. <sighs> well, clearly not. Because uh, AR exists. Hey, why is it only people? Monkeys slaves. invented sticks to get ants out of a hole. Yeah. The way before humans did. So monkeys should actually, like certain animals should actually get the rights to invent things as well. Copyright sticks. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you can't use that. That's my IP. Yeah, that's that. <laughs> that stick looks a little like my stick. So, so no, sorry. Phobic of the fucking toasters first. They're, they're fine. All right. <laughs> When they start burning my toast, then it's a problem. 
Right. You've got to be that one standing in the kitchen throwing burnt toast at this machine, aren't you? Th then we can officially declare it a moment. How dare you, sir, burn my toast? You just called me, sir. Shut up! <laughs> I say, then we can officially declare it a moment. All oh, right. That, is that I was missing, Yeah, <laughs> it was trying to give me my segue, but I completely ignored his attempt to give and me my segue. And most favourite part of the show... Gadies and Lions, where tech <laughs> reads out the finer points and, oh my God. of the trending tat. It really is trending tat. I mean, let's go. Come on. Painful. Don't fucking be around the bush <laughs> anymore. Right. Ex UFC champ Kane Velasquez. Velasquez? Velasquez. Racist. Velasquez. Velasquez. It's only racist if I don't try. Uh, <laughs> praised after his Triple Mania wrestling match. Awesome. <sighs> Again in UFC, Colby Covington's post-fight comments seem to be in bad taste after dominant win. This sounds like his news that it's nobody cares about. Practically. It's just rude. Uh, in esports news, Sonic Fox makes it two EVO finals in one day. Right, there we go. That's more interesting. You're into that sort of thing. Furry Sonic Fox guy. That, that is an advocate Evil. for, like, Red Bull overdose right there. <laughs> yeah. uh, in television news, these cast tributes are making the Good Place fans emotional. Yeah, good place to end and after season four. Yeah, yeah. quite should be just up, but you know. Been okay. two um, in Shock, celebrity yeah. news, Kevin Spacey made a rare public appearance to perform a poem in Rome. Yeah, because he's he's the case against him broke down. Yeah. Oh, the one ca one yep. of fifteen accusers case broke down. I thought there yep. was only one going to trial. There's only one case, yeah, but there's 15 accusers. Yeah, but there mm -hmm. was only one trial. I, once hashtag me too always hashtag me too So How yep. dare he so come he out he never did poem. anything. Apparently, yeah, apparently. but his name Kevin, Kevin, Spacey did, Kevin Spacey did nothing wrong, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> did, did you read the... Did, did, did you hear the poem? It no. was very awkward and weird and cringe, of course it is. Did you, not see, did you not see the video that he put there on Christmas Eve? Oh my I, god, that I, is I, the I, creepiest thing. Yeah. Yeah. Frankly, <laughs> you're like, he's actually coming for everybody in Hollywood. Yeah, totally. He's pissed off. He's going to method act that part until he gets it back, <laughs> till House of Cards reinstates him. But yeah, he sat he's just going to make a spin off. It, uh, uh, the yeah. poem was like written like. Uh, Kevin Spacey, a Kevin Spacey story, you know what I mean? Yeah. He wrote that, uh, like, uh, it was this other guy's poem that he wrote. But it was all about being like a boxer and being like against the ropes and that. And it's all this like proper, like when, when I was down, you know, he just fucking looked down at me and that. And, but no one's more dangerous than when they're wounded and other shit. You know? yeah. Yeah. But yeah. I think it'd be interesting if he made a comeback. Weinstein's long gone. There's oh, no yeah. way he's coming back. He's got that guy. Spacey's that, punching hard, man. That, that Spacey, yeah. punching Spacey's hard. adamant that he's not done anything wrong mm. i think whereas weinstein he's like he's he really looks like he's been caught with his hand in don't the cookie jar you know don't call women cookie jars for fuck's sake <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. no but i think there's a he, he, there's a certain kind of guilt you can see in his face but spacey just whether he did it or didn't i don't know whether he did bad shit or not let's but, just but he doesn't it, have that look of guilt about him. let's just call mm. it a moment or remorse or whatever you want to call yeah. it it's a moment in time so yeah talking about more moments in gaming news debate continues on new call of duty's use of white phosphorus as a reward <laughs> white phosphorus as a reward <laughs> If yep. you get so many points, you get the white phosphorus upgrade. What's that? Yep. Well, you get a phosphorus <laughs> grenade. Yeah, basically, you, you, yeah, but you get a phosphorus grenade anyway, but you get the upgrade to turn the phosphorus white. Yay. Yeah. So the debate is... How much is do you have to pay for that regularly? Oh, right. Oh, that's the issue. Yeah. Okay. Is this white... What? For fuck's sake. <laughs> it's not racist. It's white phosphorus. It's fucking, like, like highly, what do you call it, contested with when fucking... The yeah, use it's, of, it's not multicoloured. Yeah. You want a multicoloured? Oh, yeah. my God. So you can actually <laughs> take... The so you actually can taste it. the rainbow. <laughs> so you want the wow. rainbow one that comes out, you get, you get, you get a free unicorn hat at the same oh, time. Oh, God. Like, what has happened to you two? Right, keep... <laughs> but, yeah... Uh, as Privilege said, it War is crimes. actually because of the white phosphorus is banned in uh, use in any war zone, which people are like, should that also include online gaming? And it's like, no, it's a mm, fucking game. Yeah, let's get some chemical yeah. warfare in there. Let's get some proper biological what warfare. Are you, are you let's, set one, let's set one in the future with like nano. We all know. <laughs> just eat away at your face. We all or know that anything mm. that ever happens in a game or a movie instantly becomes reality. Well, there was that, there was that game uh, that that got banned about. Um, oh no! Yeah, no, that, that, the R word game. Yeah, yeah nah. 
<laughs> so, uh, so the, there are there's a line of things that you can't do in game. You can you can watch things in a film and it's mm-hmm. all right, but you, as soon as you you put it in a game, then it crosses a line. Yeah. How is that if they're both entertainment? Yeah. So that's... you can write a song about it. You can yeah. make a movie about well, it. You can. But you but can't not make a game band. about it. Yeah, because one is and <laughs> one is interactive, meant to bring entertainment and enjoyment. The other one is it can be more provocative because it is Did, they've it's done like st- writing poetry they've done you know, studies right they've done studies that expression the, oh, your, studies that the, your brain mm. waves when you do something right it's the same brain waves if you watch a film of somebody doing it so, so you, you can actually live vicariously through somebody else's actions just by watching them right so if if there's something really bad in a movie and you're living through that, it's as if you're, you know, doing those actions, then what's the difference if you're interacting in a computer game? Now right? we know the secret to porn. <laughs> eh? that, what kind that, of response that, is that? That works amazingly well. <laughs> that's, 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 not, that's not a response. That's the way to throw your right off, though. <laughs> it totally worked. <laughs> like, you went from no, arguing no. that, it's like, what does it matter if it's in a game, to arguing that, yeah, yeah but what, if you're doing it, it's the same as doing it. <laughs> what's the, what's the difference right, if you're doing it what's the difference is you're not a fucking animal you know the difference between a goddamn computer game and a fucking reality no what's the difference between well, a computer game and a yeah. film what's the difference yeah oh, oh right sorry right. yeah no, but, no, nothing um, yeah. you've got a rape yeah. in a film but you can't have a rape in a computer There's game choice. why the act mm. of choice and the act of arguably encouraging choice through Rewards, right? But you can, mur- the you can choose not the, my argument, but you can choose to murder people in computer games, right? Which is, I'd never do such a thing. What are you fucking sociopath? You want to ruin killing other NPCs? Yeah, he doesn't murder them, he annihilates them. Fucking a racist. What you got yeah. against NPCs? Well, you're or because stri- they're AI, of course, you fucking to- kill <laughs> them. Are you supposed to strike up a relationship with them, settle yeah. down, have kids? Yeah, you get bonus yeah, points. Yeah, you're not supposed to be a psychopath, you're supposed to be a sociopath. You can you literally have sex with fucking sex workers and, and have yeah. a girlfriend in GTA 3, fuck. Yeah, you can have a girlfriend hump hookers and kill them for the money back, you know. You weren't (laughs) satisfied. (laughs) But honestly, what's your honest answer to that? Like, you're both of you. My my honest answer. Stop just dodging the question. You shouldn't watch or partake in filth. Because if you do, you become (laughs) filth. So obviously, if they put white phosphorus in a game, people will start (laughs) making white phosphorus and using it willy nilly. Clearly. It's acceptance. Hi, Julie. That that is another point. I think they should put white supremacy in a game. I think I think that's the the other argument against the white voice. That's called Wolfenstein, and you just kill all the Nazis. Fucking get the modern Nazis. Yeah, but have you played the Have you played the next one? No, Young Blood. No, I was watching folk playing it though. No, 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 New Blood. Fucking don't correct me on gaming. Fucking Uh, no, no, no. You've got Young Blood. But you've got Wolfenstein, then Wolfenstein, New Blood, and then Young Blood, okay, and then no, Bad you're, Blood. Like, new Blood. New Blood is like you're talking during, two, three games ago. I knew it was way ahead. Yeah, of you, new right? Blood is like during the sixties and seventies. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, during the uh, Mud Blood. Mud Blood. No, aye, 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 Young Blood is fucking. You keep out the fucking Harry Potter aye, fucking but verse. It's, the it's, Potter more verse. It's it's very much in the start of the uh, Black Panther movements. But instead uh-huh. of instead of the Black Panther movements, it's obviously they're all fighting against aye, the Nazis. But then the newest one, it's the guy, he's young buds, has yeah. two daughters aye. in the eighties. Yeah, exactly. But that oh, one yeah. in the middle was just like so cringy as fuck, and it had nothing to do with anything racial. It was just the whole game was cringy as fuck, just the way they had done it. So it was, it was like it was like watching Austin Powers Gold Member, you know. What I mean, it's uh, like let's go back to this guy. It was fucking it was wacky. Like, it was mental. It was the fear to take the piss out of itself, but at the same time, yeah, was that to the detriment <laughs> of the story or what? I don't know. But yeah, so it, it is a pretty valid question: Should these be things be allowed or not? Because it's a computer game. Should it's these a digital be things narrative. be allowed or not? Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> it sounded like a segue. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just love the way you said it. I love the way you put it was eloquent as fuck. Look, I haven't gosh. cleared up my hard drive this morning, so I'm still working around some <laughs> oh, junk, right? Don't talk about clearing your hard drive <laughs> out. 
Yeah. Right, moving on with the so moments. Moving Come on, on. moments. UFC again, Colby Covington uses no one cares cut angles. You suck team. Oh, hey, no, that's funny. You, that you, uses a cut oh, angles. You just team. cut me up. You know, <laughs> you just cut it off completely. I'm not even reading now. Fuck Don't you. say cut it off. Uh, on music news, remembering Mac Miller one year after the release of Swimming. Mac Miller died. Don't say anything funny. What? Mac Miller's dead. That's why. Oh well, I don't know who Mac Miller is, so there we go. That's just ignorant to music. <laughs> In royal family news, mm, here we go. No. Yeah, here we go. Hey, it's getting ready. It it's on the tap. It's on the tap. Is it? Fuck? It's on the tap. It, is it? Fuck. Megan, Duchess of Sussex, oh, celebrates her thirty-eighth birthday. Or right. I thought this was a racism-related story. It is racism-related. What are you talking about? It's a thirty-eighth <laughs> birthday. That's racist as fuck. Come on, man. Yeah, uh, they didn't point out the age of any other Duchess of Cambridge. <laughs> Ken, this one exactly. You know what I mean? Like, seriously. There should be 38. You know? We're um, back to being 37. Uh, <laughs> on the uh, slightly more horrific news, US news, nine uh, killed and 16 injured in Dayton bar shooting. Yeah, some nasty stuff got on. Yep. Yeah, and we'll... shootings in El Paso and Dayton sparked renewed calls for gun control. Mm, or... Fair enough controlling the guns from the crazy people yeah so going from shooting people <laughs> to shooting balls Everton confirmed signing of Moaz Keane from Juventus nobody cares that one yeah that one <laughs> and right at the, no, this is racist as fuck right at the very bottom of all the trending tat the Canadian news <laughs> like, sorry Canada yeah, Canada's where you it's mean, at. Sorry, Some Canada. Going on in Canada. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. So Canada speak Canadians speak sorry. more like Scottish kind of. Canada way, is funny. There's though. compelled yeah. speech in Canada. Like you have to. Yeah, no, but why are they the bottom of the pile? Certain, uh, sorry, why are they the bottom of the pile though? Compelled speech. Cam doing yeah. fucking Pierce. It's, 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 it's ground central. It's, 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 what's going on in Canada? It's clearly racist. They're at the very bottom of the pile. What's going on in Canada? Canadian resident freed from Iranian prison after 11 years of detention. God damn. That's some good news. Yeah. That's there pretty go. good news. Compared to having uh, two news articles about shooting and then a Premier League article and then that, you're like, why is the Premier League article even in the middle there? Uh, well, like, well I'll give you the top of the the news. Is, is Canada up there? Pile. No. Then fuck them. Fold House is up there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes. dr driver charged after roof ripped off bus in Fold House Bridge crash. Yeah, I did see this one. This was like, dude, you must have been going so fast and you just did not even care and just Halfway kept the foot down. the top of the fucking goddamn bus. So I he's mean, made impact and still had to fall down exactly. to the, the whole roof. Let's, yeah. let's add noise. <laughs> have either of you seen Police Story? The Jackie uh, Chan yeah, movie. Yeah, yeah. The, that's exactly yeah. what happens in police stories. Exactly. The thing is, he <laughs> he must have been like to use an American term. He must have been booking around that mm. corner, like. Yeah, he's been. Uh, uh, I've charged a fifty-one-year-old man in connection with the incident. Fuck, fuck yeah! <laughs> you know, if he had crashed into it and there was a big chunk dent in the front of the bus, then it could have been passable. Of yeah. oh, it was an accident. That's a whole fucking like. It looks like somebody has taken a saw blade, like Indiana Jones style. Like, <laughs> Right is is that, that a sat-nav related issue or is that a dumbness related issue? I've got a feeling that's a bit of both. Because... <laughs> Do you try to blame this on sat-nav? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How the fuck you forgot you were driving a double deck? Or... <laughs> exactly. That's, that's it, right? Because he, he was in his well, car well, that's or it, Because there are some bus companies that actually say we refuse to put any of our single decker bus drivers in a double decker bus because accidents like that can happen. They're used to driving yeah. a single decker. So maybe... There was nobody on shift, and this guy was like, yeah, yeah, just jump in that double-decker, man. Look, He's went his usual route, and... Thankfully, nobody's hurt, but the real tragedy here is that it happened in Faultus. <laughs> <laughs> that well, put, yeah, you know, put Faultus on the map. Yeah. And people in Faultus <laughs> have actually got exactly. people coming to shops, and that. Exactly, I bet you American news by now, <laughs> you know what I mean? Fuck, because now they've got an open-top bus to take everybody <laughs> around and show them the sights. <laughs> oh, yeah. Fuck that shit. Anyway, that about wraps up Faultus. <laughs> For episode 56 of the Unmonetizable <laughs> Podcast, folks, if you made it this far, we genuinely appreciate your listenership, and, and if you're feeling as frugal as Private Mr. Feudal, give you a wee pound off you for the Open Top Bus over on Patreon. <laughs> for those watching via the Fox Chronicles on YouTube, while you're here, feel free to stage a fight at a fake wedding all over that subscribe button. Links to the Discord. In bio. In bio, that's the one. <laughs> and the Fox Chronicles are part of Indie Scots Network, where every Thursday I will be streaming 
on Twitch at Andy Scott's. Steaming or streaming? Role plays Thursday. <laughs> and six nights, six nights of the week, so there'll be a bevy of Scottish talent streaming, playing together, and podcasting. Also, keep an eye out for ourselves at the Fort Chronicles over on Twitch, where myself and uh, Dr. Darkseid will be shortly, soon. Oh. Sony in it up. Getting, a, getting on the friends list. I don't list. want to know what you we're, guys are doing today. Joining a party. We're, ja- we're brand agnostic. We're not centred on a single brand. No, yes, we are. We're Sony all the way. Sony <laughs> Diehard. <laughs> not until next time. Give us money. That's a big Captain Privilege. Grandmaster so you're, you're Captain Darkiv then. And Dr. Darkseid. Yeah. You just screwed your already editing off because you'll have to move that bit about now. Nah. So I'm leaving you where it is. Signing off. Closing hail frequencies. I'm leaving you where you is. Ending communications is going to go what? be the best a man can be. I'm leaving you where you is. <laughs> 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 fucking slag my grandma. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>